I was about transferring my assets from my Argent wallet to a centralized uh, wallet that's Bybit and I had some issues so I had to check up on start my research and then I realized uh, somebody actually proposed a solution to that which is using of layerswap.io so I decided to give it a try and I saw that it worked so and this was after looking through numerous uh, searching on YouTube and searching on other blogs without success so I decided to make this video to help uh, somebody that might have uh, the same issues as I did so now you head to this uh, layer swap yes you and then once you are there you can see uh, you launch up in fact you don't even need to register as you can see there's no place for sign in or sign up so it doesn't need you to sign in or to sign up so you go ahead and you launch your app so now here you are going to choose from uh, which sources which source are you sending from why here is the destination you are sending to so of course uh, here my agent wallet so I have a uh, USDT, which uh, I want to uh, move to Bybit, although you can use the same process for any other decentralized or centralized exchange. It's the same thing. So here, the source I'm actually sending from uh, StackNet. And then what I'm sending is actually USDT. As you can see, what I have on my StackNet here is USDT. That's from Tether. So depending on what you have, whether it's USDC or Ethereum, so you pick the assets you want to transfer of course just like i said mine is usdt and then the destination of course i want to transfer it to bybit so you can see all the exchanges you can transfer it to you can see all of them so here now you can see bybit which is what uh, we are want to transfer it to you can see bitget you can see mex you can see okx you can see binance you can see coinbase and all of that so i'm going to go ahead and select bybit and also make sure you select the same Team because since I'm transferring USDT from StackNet, of course, I should be re receiving USDT. So you pick the same thing that is here, you pick it here too. Then my network, of course, I'm transferring it over the Ethereum uh, USDT. Yes, so I'm receiving it through the Ethereum USDT. So I'll go ahead and then you can receive it through any other one, depending on what you want, whether it's uh, the BSC or Arbitrion or anyone. But I'm going using the Ethereum. And then the amount, of course, uh, let me check. What do I have here? So I have 119. So of course, uh, 119. So that's the amount I want. So the address now you can see, they even give you a directive how to get your address, how to find your Bybit address. So now I'm going to go to my Bybit account. I'll go to deposit. Now you can see deposit. So I'm selecting USDT. And then the chain, of course, this the one for Ethereum, ERC20. So make sure you select the appropriate uh, chain. Then here, I'll just go ahead and acknowledge. So this is the address now I'm going to transfer to. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy it. So you can see copy it successfully. And then I come back to this place and I'm going to paste the address here. So once I'm done pasting the address, I think uh, this is what I'm going to do. So I'll select it. And then you can see estimated time to take about that six seconds and then fee of course they are charging me about 2.19 dollar as gas fee and this is what i'm going to be receiving 116 uh, dollar so i'm going to go ahead and then i'm going to go to swap now so make sure you select everything appropriately here in order not to have uh, any sort of issues so i'll go ahead and then i'm going to swap now so you see it's sending me a confirmation that should I send uh, from the wallet, which of course, yes. So now it's asking me to choose. Then the wallet I'm using is Argent X, which is the one on the system. If it were to be the one on the phone, it's going to be Argent Mobile. But of course, this is the one I'm using. So, and then uh, of course, I've, choose, I've chosen the wallet. So look at it. Then I'll go ahead and then send from wallet. What does it mean? So let me, let me change it to 118 instead and see if it's going to work so let me go ahead and then swap yes okay so i think maybe it's because of the the gas fee the whole gas fee of 18 and all of that so that's why i will not be able to transfer uh everything so yes so now you can see uh estimated gas fee zero points that's the gas fee from the this thing itself so permit me let me just add is let me put 0.5 here and then let's try and see if it's going to yes 
zero four yeah from argent yeah we'll go ahead okay yeah so so i'll go ahead and then confirm the transaction so you can see processing your deposit so just like they said the approximately the the estimated time is going to take that six seconds so you just have to wait have to be patient so you can see your deposit is confirmed so now it's sending the usdt to my address so you just have to be patient So you can see it has completed the transaction. It has sent it. So I, I can't. I think something is in the uh -huh. good. So you see, they have sent a notification that they are processing a transaction already. So you can see pending. This was the one I first did to try to make sure it's working uh, properly. So now you can see pending, awaiting con uh, confirmation. So you just have to wait for it to complete confirmation. So you can see it's completed you can see that the money is now it has come to my uh, asset so it means that it's successfully transferred so this is how you can use a layer swap app to actually transfer uh, any of your assets from your argent wallet i think i don't know if if it works for bravo but it should yeah from your argent or bravo wallet to uh, either a cx or a dx that's a decentralized exchange or another centralized exchange so thank you and have a good day please don't forget to like don't, don't forget to subscribe and also share so have a great day